is on paragraph 11 of MFRS 132, the definition of financial liability is a co-a contractual obligation for an entity to deliver cash or exchange of financial asset. Why financial equity based on IASB 2016, entity is the residual interest in the asset of the entity after deducting of all its liability. Characteristic for financial liability is obligation, a legal binding obligation or responsible to provide economic resources to another party, usually rise from past event, contractual agreement, Financial liability often arise from contractual agreement which outline the term and condition of the liability. Term transfer of economic benefit. Settlement financial liability typically involves the transfer of economic benefits such as asset, cash, service to the party who receive it. Characteristic financial equity is ownership interest. Interest or residual value claim on the asset of, the, of a company. It reflect the portion of value of entity asset that belong to shareholder after deducting liabilities. Residual value, value that remain after deduct liability. If liquidation happen, equity holder have the right to, com to claim the remaining asset. Impact on decision making. Shareholder equity represent the owner state to make decision Capital obligation, funding choice, also measure financial stability and credit worthiness. Next is differences between liabilities and equities. Generally, liabilities are the financial obligation which is debt that business business owes to anyone besides the owners such as suppliers, uh, lenders, and tax authorities. In comparison, equity is what is left in a business for its owners after sub subtracting all external liabilities from the total asset. Let's we go for the detailed differences financial liabilities and financial equity. First, let me tell you about financial liability. For the classification, for liability is the capital low in exchange for issuance claim called external capital. Second, acquisition in company by firms, asset which is bonds, uh, share of stock, and capital received to make sacrifice in future. Next is measure of firm income. For liability, net income under earned capital approach. Other than that, commentary issue the AAA FASC. 1999 for liability solvency perspective liabilities represent claims that impose obligations on the firms to transfer assets next we move for financial equity classification for equity is firms providing good and services which is called earned capital for equity acquisition in company by goods and services for future economy benefits and capital received already make a sacrifice. We move to the next difference, which is measures of firm income for equity is book value equity under the earned capital approach. Last but not least, for the com for the commentary issue, the AAA FASC 1999, for equity common equity valuation perspective, liabilities represents claims that reduce the value of common equity. Next is problem rise that related to the issue we discussed in the article from Fage et al. 2018. The issue is discussion whether classification, liability and equity matter in use of compound approach or mezzanine approach in financial statement would improve accounting. Okay, next is the approach might be used by the standard center for the issue. The article is using mezzanine. What is mezzanine? Mezzanine is a business loan that offers repayment terms adapted to a company cash flows. 
it is a hybrid combination of debt and equity. As you can see in the picture, as a nine, debt and equity combination. Finance. The mezzanine approach could be supported by disclosure to help user understand the impact of the instrument on solvency risk and potential dilution of or constraint on ordinary shareholder returns. There are two solvency perspectives. Firstly, liability from a solvency perspective and equity from a valuation perspective, such as Obligation to transfer the cash equal to the fair value of the fixed number of share. Second perspective is equity from a solvency perspective and liability from a valuation perspective, such as an obligation to transfer a variable number of share equal to a fixed dollar amount. Next is one of the key benefit of the mezzanine approach is that instrument with characteristic of both equity and debts would supply be included in the mezzanine category with no need to split into component. Using the, the mezzanine could thus reduce the complexity of accounting for compound instrument. The approach to measure measuring instrument is mezzanine fair value or amortization cost would need to be determined. For the conclusion part, due in part to the complexity of some arrangement, the accounting for debt and equity can be fairly difficult. There are many transaction documents that may need to be considered in performing the accounting analysis. Instrument like preferred stock and warrants, which may have both debt and equity characteristic, need to be classified correctly on the balance sheet, as well as the measurement that follows. Additionally, natural characteristic in securities like debt and preferred stock also need to be recognized in accounting. Lenders or investors that use mezzanine financing may receive immediate equity in the company. They are financing or warrants to buy equity at a later time. The rate of return ROR for an investor could rise dramatically as a result. Additionally, contractually required interest payment made monthly, quarterly or annually are due to mezzanine finance provider without needing to be split into two components, which is debt and equity. The two components are combined for accounting in mezzanine approach. As a solution, mezzanine approach or financing will reduce complexity in accounting for debt and equity. <laughs> Don't allow now where you're at, see. Zapu, oh, if you ignore my hand, if the banting, if you ding now.